Whitensville soldier returns home for the final time. 22-year-old Army Specialist John Dawson was killed in Afghanistan when an Afghan soldier fired at a group of Americans. New Center 5's Jack Harper is live for us in Upton, where Dawson went to school. Jack? Phil, we're outside Blackstone Valley Vocational School, and today the students here spent that day getting ready to honor an old friend, a young man who graduated here in 2010, went in the Army in 2012, and today came home for the final time. Again today, the family of specialist John Dawson kept things simple and very private. Only a few invited to meet the body at Logan before the last ride west to Whitensville. There, the fire department knew and flew the flag on Purgatory Road, only a half mile from home on Fairlawn Street. John Dawson was only 22 when he was shot and killed by an Afghan soldier the Americans were serving alongside. You see it on TV. But when it hits your own town, it's different. It's personal. Seems like everyone's feeling it. At his old high school, students placed hundreds of ribbons beneath a giant banner, remembering a kid who excelled as an electrician trainee. The final procession will pass right by here on Monday, after a swing down Church Street. I think it's really important that we support their family and just give back to them. So um, everyone around here has just been helping out, making bows, giving out flags. And so the last ride from Carr Funeral Home will follow a trail of yellow and red, white and blue. We're looking forward to the procession driving by. You know, uh, we're going to be outside. You know, at least give our final respects. It's very uncanny that, you know, out of anyone that could be hurt in this, that it's from our little town of Whitensville. When they come by here, the family may or may not notice this little toolkit, which was placed here by the kids and an instructor from the electrical class. It says John Dawson thought you'd like the challenge, and it's signed Mr. A, obviously one of his instructors who remembers him well. In Upton, I'm Jack Harper, WCVB News Center 5.